Hey folks, this has been with Meshtastic. Just haven't done a video in a while, but I wanted to show off something cool that we just launched recently, and that is a new Meshtastic flasher, um, a web web flasher, I should say. Uh, and some of you have used the the old flasher utility, and you know it worked for flashing um, ESP32 devices which is great, um, is a convenient sort of um, alternative to using the um, device install scripts or, or something um, similar with like ESP Home or whatever. But we have this new flasher utility and it's actually got some conveniences for flashing devices like uh, NRF52 based one like this mesh terminal, which is has a rack uh, 4631 inside. And so I'm going to just show you really quickly how that works. So we've got our target list and we can scroll through that. We've got all of the like Raspberry Pi Pico uh, stuff in there as well. We've got the um, NRF52 840 devices like the Rack 4631. And we've got our, all of our um, ESP32 devices, of course, as well. Um, and this is kind of the officially supported device list here. Um, we also have this button right here, which if you already have a 2.2 device installed, um, capable device installed, you can actually automatically select uh, the correct target device as just a convenience. Um, and hopefully this will work right here where I'm, I'm going to automatically connect this rack. It should, should automatically detect it. So that's, I think this is our interface right here. So... Bingo, bango, look, there we go. So we're connected to our rack 4631. Um, I'm just gonna go through here and I want, let's see, I think I want the latest alpha because I'm feeling adventurous. And again, you can do uh, beta or alpha channels here. And I'm working on functionality where you can actually upload a custom firmware package. Uh, so that'll serve you uh, if you're wanting to use this offline, we're working on, um, PWA functionality. So progressive web apps are like web apps that can work offline and be installed as an app, etc. So uh, we want to get that working, um, but this is a very new tool. So uh, bear with us as we kind of work on it. So now I'm going to go here now that I've selected device and the firmware version. So we've got a little kind of dialogue here. Um, so the first thing we have to do is enter DFU mode. And if you're familiar with uh, racks or any of the other uh, NRF52840 devices, you have to double click this reset button in the past. But if you have a uh, version 2.2.17 device, we actually added the ability to do that programmatically. So we can issue a command to the device and it will actually flip up here as a DFU mode USB drive. All right. There we go, it worked. That's fantastic. So now let's go down here and download our UF2 so we can flash it. So I'm going to go and scroll down now to this. Okay, so now you can see uh, we're in the, the rack 4631 DFU drive. And if I save this UF2 file, it should flash. We should see the drive disappear and the device reboot. All right, so let's see. Looking good. We've got we've got beep, a little uh, blinking going on there with the mesh terminal. So let's see what happens. Is it going to reboot? Yay! Look at that. It rebooted. So we should. Yeah, there we go. We're back into the firmware. So um, that's that's just a quick demonstration of how this new utility works. And we have a similar um, uh, DFU mode uh, feature for Re for the Raspberry Pi Pico uh, RP2040 base boards. And those actually work the same way um, in terms of having this uh, DFU mode trigger uh, where, you, where we can do that via the firmware now. But that one is only a part of uh, 2.2.18 as, um, or 2.2.18, yes. Um, 
as a part of that firmware release. So um, that would not work um, for this version. So, um, but that's that's all I've got, guys. And uh, as always, go to the Discord if you got any questions. Um, all this stuff is open source, so. Uh, if you run into issues, hit us up on Discord, um, create GitHub issues, etc.